So the buy now, pay later stocks really have been the story on the Australian share market over the past 12 months, not just in Australia, of course. For more on this booming sector, let's bring back Kunal Sawney, the CEO of Calcine Group. Great to see you again, Kunal. How are you? Good, Adrian. How are you? Very well. Uh, I'm not going to say Happy New Year because we're well into the new year, but I think it's the first time we've had a chat. So great to have you back on Ticker. Let's talk about BNPL, the buy now, pay later stocks. It's remarkable. What's your take on what's going on right now? The fintech sector, Adrian, that is called uh, the BNPL space. Uh, they have witnessed uh, wonderful opportunities during the pandemic amid soaring digitization trends e-commerce and cashless transactions. So they have done really well on the back of these themes. Bank of America's recent forecast suggests that the market of BNPL applications, uh, Klarna, Affirm, Afterpay and others is expected to grow 10 to 15 times. I'm again repeating 10 to 15 times by 2025 to eventually process about 650 billion to a trillion in transactions. The latest to make buzz in the BNPL space is the smashing market debut of Affirm Holdings. Affirm is uh, yet another offering from PayPal's co-founder Max Levchin. So he is the member of the famous PayPal mafia as they used to be called, uh, where all all these people have founded uh, you know a lot of unicorns a lot of big businesses uh, the promising BNPL company recently got listed on Nasdaq with a bang and its price almost double uh, in its market debut in Australia the BNPL boom has triggered a rush of listings so we have hum group HUM ASX code and uh, we also have Doe. DOU is the ASX code so a lot of stuff happening in the BNPL space so let's look at Afterpay. I mean, I think about a year back, almost to the day, it was about $8.50 or $8.90. It's now $154. It's up 0.4% today. Um, what do you think has fueled this rally exactly? Um, Adrian, um, Afterpay has evolved as a outperformer. They have done amazingly well. Uh, share price delivering sky high returns of 875 uh, percent APT shares uh, had a bright start this week with the stock uh, price rising by 1.6 percent to nearly 154 bucks and um, Afterpay has reaped the rewards of a market shift in consumer consumer behavior the company enjoyed a successful international expansion and strong sales numbers last year with its uh, sales doubling to 11.1 billion dollars in financial year 20 and moreover the favorable market environment helped afterpay to expand its presence in canada and mainland europe as well and interestingly afterpay recently set a new monthly record uh, by achieving breakthrough sales of over 2 billion across all regions in november 2020. And just to okay. finish, so do the, you think, oh, sorry, yes, I'll, jump in, I'll, I'll jump in there. We're just a little bit pressed for time. Yes. Sorry to interrupt. Do you sure. think Afterpay will continue the momentum this year and also beyond? Okay, Adrian, let me take out my crystal ball. Uh, here it goes. <laughs> so Afterpay is planning to commence operations uh, in Asia soon, which is a very big market with a base already established in Singapore. The BNPL giant also intends to acquire its European, um, you know, rival Pagantis in 2021, while several green shoots are gleaming for Afterpay on the operational front, we also have to look at the other side of the story. The fact that Afterpay is no longer the only big fish in the ocean is clearly evident. So some technical indicators also suggest that Afterpay's share price is overpriced. Uh, Aussies may return to the safety of incumbent banks from fintechs to meet their financial services needs in post-pandemic world. So we need to have a balanced approach. They have done very well, but we need to be a bit careful. Yeah, I agree. Very well said, mate. Really good to see you again. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you really soon. Enjoy your day, okay? Thanks, Adrian.